Welcome back to day number eight of the internet trying to convince me that this record number six vice is the best vice ever made. Well, I kind of disagree. I think the 510 is the best bench vice ever made. We have the vices all assembled and we're looking at handles. The handle on the vise is one of the most important features. It protects the vise from getting damaged. This is the tool that we use to interact with the screw. Now, if we want more force or more pressure, obviously the longer lever we have, the more force we can apply. But naturally, the vise can only take so much input. So as a designer, we design the vise handle length to accommodate that. And in this case, this number six has seen some better days. Look at all the hammer marks on it. And this stems from not being able to get enough force. As you tighten the handle, this is what happens. All these hammer marks are from doing this. And it's because that this vise is not producing enough clamping force. That's the other thing too. So once you hammer it tight, oh, can't get it loose. Which inevitably put the cheater bar on it and we get bends like this. So then the next thing you guys say, let's just put a longer handle on it. Well, the longer handle just gets in your way. As you can see, this vise handle did bend and it protected the internal components of this vise. We want this handle to fail before something breaks inside that's more expensive. So there's this handle, it's not replaceable. They've swedged it on. They've mushroomed the ends. We have to literally cut this handle off to replace it. So now let's look at the hardtail vise. How do we solve that? Completely different looking for one. See the diameter inside there, how it's turned down in these locations. So we've had to reduce the diameter here so that the handle bends before we do internal damage to the vise. But we need to keep that diameter large because it fits in our hand better and it looks good. But the other thing that this vise has got going for it is that we can remove the handle and replace it if it gets damaged. Isn't that beautiful? Man, there's a lot of machining in this. You got the ends, you got the little knobs, you got the rubber bushings that over time you can replace them so they don't smash your fingers. Nice meatball here that's been hardened. There's sometimes this distance is really short. Handle starts getting in the way. You have to start choking up on the handle. So getting some space between the handle and the back of the jaw it just increases your capabilities. So if you look at a hardtail, the distance between the handle and the back jaw is much greater. This allows us to actually spin the handle without interfering with anything. And having the center line of the vice handle low to the jaw, that's also a good feature. We wanna be able to hang stuff over and around. All right, so that concludes day number eight. Once again, I am very biased because this is my vice, but I do truly believe, and I think you guys can agree, that the fireball handle is much better engineered than this one. So that puts the fireball hardtail vice in the lead still at seven to one. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we do some more testing. Also, if you have some more requests, leave them down below, I'd like to see them.